Today we are fishing the nature's coast in Horseshoe Beach. Let's catch some fish. Villagers are fortunate to be so close to Florida's nature coast. Jennifer and I loved to get to this undeveloped coastline of Florida during the 14 years we lived in Tampa. The nature coast is an informal, unofficial region of the state of Florida, and in the broadest definition, it includes the eight counties that abut the Gulf of Mexico, north of Tampa, from Ancloke Key and Pasco County, and moving northwest along the Big Bend area to Apalachic Bay in Wakula County. Outdoor activities abound, including kayaking, trail hiking, bicycling, bird watching, and my favorite, saltwater fishing. There are many ways to fish the nature coast, from offshore fishing on a charter boat catching snapper, grouper, amberjack, to inshore fishing by wading, kayaking, or bay boat for trout and redfish. Also, let's not forget the scalloping season. Harvesting that occurs along the nature coast during the summertime we will bring you a video on that when the season opens. For villagers, the closest point for the nature coast is Crystal River. Crystal River is only 40 miles or one hour drive from Brownwood Square along Florida Highway 44. Today, however, I find myself further north in the town of Horseshoe Beach. The town is only a half square mile in size, but it has lots of character and steep traditions in the shrimping and crabbing industry. Completely undeveloped to its north and south with miles of coastlines of creeks, oyster beds, marsh grasses, which are conducive for a healthy fishery of trout, flounder, and redfish. I'll stop talking now and get to some fishing.
So that was a video on fishing today in Horseshoe Beach and it was uh, mixed results. I uh, was targeting uh, spotted sea trout and redfish and as you saw in the video I did pretty well drifting the grass flats picking up the uh, spotted sea trout. Everything was released and uh, as far as the redfish we had heavy winds today along with a full moon strong tide so that really made things kind of sporty out there as you could see as I was going out the size of the waves uh, there were some white caps and when I got inshore trying to fish the oyster beds it was uh, my trolling motor just had a hard time uh, keeping up with the uh, incoming tide and the wind so uh, no redfish today but that's fishing and any day fishing is a better day working um, one thing I did uh, recently was I became a member of the Saltwater Fishing Club in the Villages. It's open to Villages residents. I have the uh, website to that below and check that out. Um, if you don't have a boat or a friend that has a boat and you want to get out saltwater fishing, then uh, a good way to do that is become a member of the club. They go ahead and they arrange trips both inshore and offshore. Uh, with licensed captains on the Gulf Coast and on the Atlantic Coast. So uh, if you want to get out fishing and if you got guests coming in, maybe grandkids this summer, uh, check in with a club. Uh, sometimes they have openings. You can bring guests and uh, take a kid out fishing. Nothing better than that. Get them away from the video games. Uh, so that's it for now. Charlie Pride, uh, Pride of the Villages, and we'll see you on the next video.